Hi everybody, I'm Davey. Today we are spending the day in the kitchen doing some summer baking and some fun little treats as well. So I'm starting off with a strawberry rhubarb crisp. Now I'll share the recipe I followed to the most part in the description box, but I do like to change things up a little bit to my own liking. And so I will, um, be making this for a dessert that I have as we are having company tonight in this video and so I just thought it would be nice to have a little summery treat and what better than strawberry rhubarb crisp and the rhubarb is from a neighbor and the strawberries I didn't have fresh so I actually just used frozen and then of course my little girl has to help me with the stirring and she loves to watch me in the kitchen and sometimes it's challenging because it makes it hard to do things but other times it's really fun to know she wants to learn and help in this way so I put all the insides together put it in a 9x9 pan and then I put the crumbles on top and this is how the ooey gooey yummy looking stuff turned out so delicious For a little healthier fun treat for my daughter and my husband who loves these, I am making some gummy bears. You just use a cup of your favorite juice and two tablespoons honey and then you put a fourth a cup of pectin in it later after it comes to a rolling boil. And this is just such a fun little healthier treat that I don't feel bad serving my toddler and that I can indulge in every once in a while as well. It is a tad tedious because you have to use your little dropper and put it in your molds and so it does take some time and then you freeze it for 30 minutes and pull them out and they are ready to eat. So I store them in the fridge for like up to two weeks or so but they usually don't last that long in our house as you can see I'm snitching one here and my husband loves them and my daughter really enjoys them. So that was a recipe from Farmhouse on Boone that I just thought was fun to make on this summer day. break time and my daughter Nevaeh loves playing in the bubbles with her little toys while I work uh, next to her and just take a little break and play with her in the sink too. All right, the next snack is a healthy protein bar. I use rolled oats, a plant-based protein powder, black seed and then you can do lots of add-ins and then honey and peanut butter I actually ended up using almond butter this time I added some raisins dried cherries you could put nuts in it pumpkin seeds um, dates any fruit or nut or anything you think your family or you would love it is a super simple recipe oh I also put chocolate chips in there of course and then my little daughter had to taste test for me um, usually I make a bigger batch than this, but that is all I had. So then I just stick them in the fridge for about two hours or in the freezer for a half hour, bring it out, let it thaw a little bit, and cut it and taste test as well. They are such a delicious, healthy snack, easy for the summers when you're on the go as well. This is not exactly cooking, but in the kitchen I have to have fresh flowers, especially when my cosmos are in full bloom and my echinacea and my catmint. I just love making new flower arrangements when I have the flowers in my own backyard, in my garden. So that's just something I wanted to share and um, just to give you a little life in the kitchen as well. it is time to make my pickles I have cucumbers in my garden already and so I'm just making two jars of refrigerator pickles now you can can these pickles um, I have in the past but I knew we would eat them in quicker than two weeks so it's a cup of water a cup of apple cider vinegar 
You can add some red pepper flakes if you want. I did and they're a little bit spicy. And then four cloves of garlic mashed. And then I have fresh dill as well that I had in my garden. And you simmer the liquid together in a pot for, well, till it's simmering. And then you put slice your pickles however you want and put them in the jar. And so I just sliced them in the spears and I love how they taste with the delicious crunch. Wait about 40 hours to try them if you're refrigerating them. If you're hot water bathing them, I would recommend um, trying them after because they're so delicious and you can't wait. If you don't want as much spice, definitely leave out the red pepper flakes. Oh, one important note, you have to add one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt or I use Redmond's sea salt. So a really quick, easy summer snack to have or side to serve. For this summer meal that I'm making this evening and for our company, I roasted some vegetables, put oil on it, roasted it at 425, add some salt and pepper, and bake it, like I said, for about 30 minutes. And then my husband grilled some chicken that I had marinated for about 12 hours. And the marinade is from the Cookbook Meat Head. It is super delicious. It uses pineapple juice. And the meal just turned out deliciously. And it was such a fun evening as well. And so I kind of stopped with the footage there. So I hope you're inspired by these recipes and you enjoyed being in the kitchen with us.